Here is the 20 watt solar panel. Coming out to its little 10 amp charge controller. Again, charging light on, solar light on. I have to see what the charge light comes on at. And I have to go into the little power station with an XT60 connector. I had to make that one. Um, and based on my just some initial tests I did with this, this charge controller um, didn't have any settings or anything, and I'm pretty sure you're going to need either a lead acid or a lithium iron phosphate since that's pretty much the same voltage um, spectrum or the voltage output for the top level of the charge because obviously there's no settings and it was putting out over 13 volts and if you have a lithium ion battery that's definitely not a number you want it to be going to. We'll try the solar panel by itself on another uh, power station later to see what it alone can do since obviously there's nothing in this that really tells you it. So we will be back later with that. And this battery is fairly char fairly charged. It's sitting, it's hard to see a little bit, but 13.2 is what it's currently at. So like I said, it's going to leave it out here and see if it'll top it off. And hopefully the charge light will come on so we can make sure that that's working as it should. And if you don't use the solar charge controller, just have it plugged directly into the solar panel and into a device you can get... 16, 17 watts out of it on pretty much a full sun day. It's not too shabby by itself. Alright, so this battery is old. It's from 2017. This one is from 2020. And this one's got 13.4. That's what it's putting out right now. And it ain't even turn the right way, you know, if I had it face. Hmm. Okay, so I just wanted to do a video and show that this is actually a good 